Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Government and the automotive industry are said to be close to reaching consensus on the South African Automotive Master Plan. Alma Fanta tells us more. Welcome, Alma. Hi, Sashi. Now, why is the master plan needed and when does the DTI expect it to be finalized? Well, the master plan is set to replace automotive policy post-2020. So the current plan we've got, government's current um, plan and mm -hmm. policy and incentive program, the Automotive Production and Development Program, comes to an end in 2020. So this master plan is set to guide policy post-2020. So it's, it's a very important uh, program and it will run till 2035. So that's also, I think, the longest program we've had running for, that would be for 15 years then. So the importance of this is that it will guide the industry going forward during a very disruptive period. I mean, we're talking about the advent of electric vehicles, of uh, increased digitalization and, and things like that. So there's a lot of challenges facing the industry and increased global competitiveness as well. A lot of other markets also want to build vehicles. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, the program is apparently 99% completed. Uh, DTI Director General Lionel October says, for example, that um, the, they expect to be uh, make an announcement very, very soon. When that will be, uh, it's a very good question. Uh, and then it will go to cabinet for approval. So I think the whole industry is like waiting with bated mm. breath for this to be announced. And with the master plan, government is, a, is placing emphasis on transforming the automotive industry. I think the automotive industry is perhaps a little bit in trouble. I mean, they're at level eight at the moment, so it's, it's not done so well. There's a lot of, there are a lot of multinationals within the industry, so they're not willing to give up ownership. Mm. Your big component manufacturers and your vehicle, com um, vehicle manufacturers, for example, are all multinationals. So they will have to find innovative ways to move forward on and transforming the industry and empowering the industry. And I think they want to move to level four. That's the target set for them. So that's it's quite a jump for them. And meanwhile, NAMSA has said that the industry is facing a number of challenges. What are these? Well, all of those that I've mentioned are those challenges, but there are also a number of other challenges. For example, we're looking at Africa. Africa's at our doorstep and it's supposed to be our natural market. But there are a lot of players coming into Africa. I mean, China has made rapid yeah. investment into Africa. Morocco has become a really uh, big uh, compo um, component and vehicle manufacturer in Africa, and they're very close to Europe. So we have this natural market in Africa, but that it's not necessarily natural that we'll be the ones mm -hmm. selling vehicles into that market. So we have to fight for our space there. So there are a number of free trade agreements, for example, but none of these are OTA specific. So that's going to be one challenge, for example. And then we also have to deal with the rise of electric vehicles. In South Africa, electric vehicle sales are actually dropping, but everywhere else it's, it's increasing, especially in your, developed, uh, your developing mm -hmm. markets. So we can't just think it all passes by because it's not a trend, mm -hmm. it's the way the industry is moving. So we'll have to cater for this and government will have to come up with a plan and, uh, to build infrastructure for electric vehicles and we'll have to move the customer eventually also to electric vehicles. So uh, it's all of these challenges that uh, industry will have to face and I think NAMSA President Andrew Kirby said it will be the most disruptive period the automotive industry has faced since 1995, which means they, they are gonna have to come up with a very innovative plan to move forward and to remain a, a competitive mm. automotive hub within the world. Well, thanks for speaking with us, Alma. That's the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.